Hi YouTube, 2 e 0 FNM back again with another video. Today I wanted to take a look at the G7 RPG All-Star Echo Link node. Uh, really, really impressed with this. A little bit of a backstory for you. About three years ago, I wanted to build one of these. So I got a project box, a Raspberry Pi, a Bofang AAA, um, and followed like a guide. And for, it just will, would not work. I just could not get it to work. So I took it to a friend of mine uh, uh, who's a radio ham, took it to his house, and we spent hours at his house trying to get it to work. We could not get it to work. Um, so I left with my tail between my legs and I, I sort of sat on it for three years. So I knew that um, Peter sold these G7 RPG. So I reached out to Peter and, you know, asked him, you know, is he still making them? Because it's, you know, a couple of years since I sort of knew about it. Uh, he said, yeah, no problem. Told him what I wanted. I said that I wanted an Ethernet port on the back. Uh, you can run these on Wi-Fi, but I, I like hardwiring everything if possible. So he said, yeah, no problem. I'll put a, an, an Ethernet port in for you. Um, so it's fantastic. Sent him the money a couple of days later. Got it. Absolutely fantastic. So that the idea of this video is I, I'm, I'm new to All Star and Echo Link, so I'm, I'm kind of new to it. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to take the lid off so we can see inside it. It is awesome uh, work that he's done inside. Uh, and then we'll power it on um, and then we'll see what happens. And uh, just give you a, a brief overview of the, uh, the control panel that, that comes with the radio. And, and that's it really. It's just like a, a first look. Um, just, you know, so you can see. So without further ado, let's begin. So let's have a quick look round the uh, the box. So v very, very plain, understated, very nice. Um, it's got an LED on the front that's blue when it's just in sort of standby, you know, waiting for signals either end. Um, it's green on receive when you're transmitting into it and it's red on transmit when, you know, the, the box is transmitting to the radio. So very simple, just a, a, an LED that's got the three colors on it, um, you know, nice and simple. Um, just a pl uh, plastic project box. Uh, as I say, we'll take the, the lid off in a second. Uh, and on the back, he, he does a nice label with a, a CTCSS tone on it, uh, your call sign, your node number, uh, and the frequency. So all you have to do uh, when you get one of these boxes, if I find my, my radio, is, is just, pro as you can might have seen there, uh, I've programmed the frequency in it, uh, put the CTCSS tone on it, uh, and when you boot this up, it'll give you its IP address on your network. So it'd be like 192.168.0, you know, whatever. Um, and then you basically go on the computer, uh, plumb that number in your browser, and it'll take you to the dashboard where you've got loads of options. Um, I asked him to put an Ethernet port on there. Um, really nice and simple. Um, all it is is the Raspberry Pi inside with a pigtail on it uh, to an Ethernet. So uh, I like to hardwire everything. This will run on Wi-Fi, but I do like to hardwire everything in if possible. Uh, power on and off switch, and then the uh, the DC jack. It does come with the, the power lead, so you you know you've no issues there. Um, and I've just put it on a, a dedicated 10 amp uh, supply uh, that it just runs all the time. So without further ado, let's have a look inside. So I'll just take the boxes off. Right, so turn it the right way around. So just do it delicately. There we go. So there's there's the lid for it. So yeah, really nice. So these these front panels are obviously just slot in, and then they, they sandwich between the top and the bottom layer. Um, so yeah, inside got a, a Raspberry Pi 3B, I think that is. Um, there's the little pigtail uh, for the Ethernet port. So that's that goes in there like so. Um, then. There's the, the Bofang uh, AAA radio. Um, there's the sound card. I think it's a CM108, I think, from when I remember when I tried to make one of these. A really nice, really neat uh, job on there. And there's the book converter there. Um, so you can give this anywhere between, I think it's anywhere between 9 and 24 volts, I think. Uh, but don't quote me on it. And then the book converter will give everything that it needs. I think the Raspberry Pi needs 5 volts. Um, I'm not sure on the Bofang, maybe 7 volts for the, the Bofang. But this this all sorts it out anyway. Uh, and then obviously the the, um, switch, the LED on the front. And then obviously you can see the switch at the back there. So yeah, really neat job. Um, and then obviously he's got the little antenna there. Uh, I don't know what the power uh, output on this is. I think it's like 10 milliwatts or 50 milliwatts. It's not a lot anyway. Um, but obviously with that CTCSS tone um, that we've got on the back, uh, no one can access it anyway. Um, but it'd have to be pretty pretty local to it anyway. 
Um, but I've, I can get around the house, absolutely no problem with this at all. Um, you know, as I say, really, really impressed. Um, and it, it runs fine. And what I do is I have it on its, its own dedicated power supply uh, and it just runs happy all the time. Um, you can control it, obviously, with the, with your radio so you don't have to do anything on the, on the node side. So that's a quick look inside it. Right, so I've plugged it into the power supply, uh, put the Ethernet port into it. And I've got my um, Yaesu FT1D on ready to go. So what we do is we just flick the switch on at the back. You'll see the blue light go on on the front. So it's sort of uh, booting up now and everything. So what it'll do is it can take a couple of minutes. Um, but what it'll do is it'll tell us the IP address over the radio. So you already program your radio with the frequency in the CTCSS tone. Um, and then all we need to do is wait for it to tell us the uh, IP address. So talk amongst yourselves. IP address 192.168.0.236 There you go. So hopefully that came through on the, on the screen there. So, um, I don't usually like filming <laughs> directly onto the, uh, you know, so you can see in the monitor. I like to, to video record it, you know, on the PC, but sorry for the, the bad edit in here. Um, but there, you basically put the IP in the top there, um, and this is the control panel. Um, really nice. I don't know if Peter does this or whether this is just part of the micro hub thing. I'm not exactly sure, but I think Peter does this. Um, so, you can click Supermon, and this will tell you what your node is actually doing. Um, so what we can do, um, let me just move that onto the second monitor. What we can do is we can do an audio test. Um, you can either click here to do the audio test, which is here, or you can dial it directly from your radio. Now I'm not sure if you know, I'll, I'll, I'm not sure if I can actually do it, but the way you work it on your radio is you, you transmit, and then you would do star five nine, which is the audio test. Um, and then what you would do after you've done your audio test would you do star seven three and that disconnects everything and then you can dial around so i think it's star three and then an all star node number whichever one you want if you want to do it directly on the radio or you do star three three plus the node number uh, for echo link so what we'll do rather than trying to do it one-handed and um, we'll press it on here so all we do here is click audio test you'll see superman is telling us what's going on Right, and then now we'll just do an audio test, so let's just try it. 2 Echo 0, Foxtrot November mic, 2 E0, Fox November mic, doing an audio test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Playback. 2 Echo 0, Foxtrot November mic, 2 E0, Fox November mic, doing an audio test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then that's it. Um, and then what you would do is you would hit disconnect all. This is what I was saying about the LED. You can see it's going red and then it goes back there. So now we've disconnected. So then I will just click on Hubnet. So I've clicked it on the screen, it goes into TX. Oh, about, uh, miles away. Now obviously it's, it's telling us the information. Sorry if it's a bit loud. So yeah, there, there we go, we're now connected to Hubnet, um, and then, like I said, you can control this on your radio, I'll just mute that, you can control this on your radio, or you can just use this, I mean, uh, East Coast Reflector is really, really good, as well as Hubnet, Hubnet's fantastic for the UK, um, but East Coast Reflector is, is also very, very good, um, the guys on there are absolutely fantastic, um, they also have a website, um, I'll just grab it you now. So their website for East Coast Reflector, they also have a Zoom meeting room here. If you go on their website, I'll put the link to it in the description. Um, but they have a Zoom meeting in there. Um, so you can, and it's just on 24 hours a day, people come in and out. It's like a little chat room. Um, you know, you don't have to have your webcam on, you know, just use your microphone. So it's fantastic. So uh, really, really good. I just thought I'd give them a shout out. Uh, but you can do everything just by the uh, the control panel or directly from the radio. Uh, this node uh, just basically lives under the bed. Um, 
powered with its own 10 amp uh, uh, power supply uh, and it just sits happily connected via ethernet cable and it just runs there all the time um, and then what I will try and do I don't think I can do it with them um, no the, the people are talking on there at the moment um, anyway it's basically that's what it does so fantastic you can control it directly from the radio or if you want you can use the uh, the control panel um, fantastic and Superman will tell you exactly what it's doing at all times so you can just check what, what, what's going on with your node basically uh, and if someone is talking and you, you know you want to just disconnect you just hit disconnect and then it just disconnects it basically I've muted the, the radio that's why you can't hear it so yeah that's basically a quick look at it but I'm, I'm very new to the whole thing um, got you know learning it as I go but I just wanted to really show you what it was like so thank you for watching so thank you very much for watching. That was my review of the G7 RPG Micronode. Uh, absolutely fantastic. So thank you, Peter, if you do watch this video. I'm really, really impressed with it. You're doing awesome work, fantastic. And um, yeah, I really appreciate it. I've got a lot to learn with it. I've still got, you know, I've only had it about three or four days, so I've got a lot to go, um, but I'm really enjoying it so far. So thank you very much for watching. I've been 2E0 FNM, and you've been very kind to watch 7.3.